What's up guys, Justin McDangles here, back with another video today. This is episode 5 of the Benders 2 Legends Ultimate Team Road to Glory, guys. And if you are enjoying this series, be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. And also, if you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so and subscribe in the bottom right hand corner of this video so you aren't missing out on any future episodes of the Benders 2 Legends series. And also the new series that I put out yesterday, if you want to check out that card right now, um, of the... Be a pro with Dustin McDangle. It's going to be a lot of fun over there, but we are focused here at the Benders 2 Legends today. As last episode turned out to be a good one, having 20 points in the bank for the Benders to Legends points. Uh, based off the comments in the last video, you guys had a couple suggestions, and I will sort of take a combination of the two as we need some upgrades at the defensive position and at the centerman position. So we will do that in today's video, guys. Um, Without further ado, we're actually going to make this upgrade a little bit different than the last couple videos, so you guys will see it right now. And here are the upgrades for today's episode, guys. We've gone ahead and purchased Victor Rask and Nick Benino for the sentiment position. They both have decent face-offs and skating and shooting, so we thought we would throw them into the lineup, as well as the defensive side. We have Mario Ferraro and Tyler Myers, guys. The tree himself from Vancouver. Good to see we finally have some gold players on the defensive side of the puck. But without further ado, guys, we are going to get into divisions, which I was actually trying to record earlier, and the internet was so bad. I don't know if it was the server or if I needed to reset my internet. So we are only down to three games remaining for divisions. Uh, we need at least two more to win the division, and so hopefully we can do that in today's episode. I also went ahead and updated our jerseys and logo, as you guys suggested to do in the last episode in the comments. So... Hopefully we will get a W in today's episode, and we will get into divisions right now. Getting into today's episode, guys, it looks like this team that we're playing today has a very good opponent, so we win the opening face-off. He also has his mic on, which is going to be interesting to hear. Ask. Trying to get around the opponent here. Back to Rask. Rask on the puck. Got a backdoor opportunity there! Oh man, good shot, good pressure! by the boys here as he's up the ice with Crosby Crosby the big B here guys as moving the puck up the ice Nick Benino find the high man Dominic Cahoon gets a shot on target our opponent saves that back to Cahoon our opponent plays it out again as they are back up the ice here works this up to O'Connor O'Connor just gonna get a rip on target almost puts that into the back of the net as Sandell finds the puck, we try to work it over, and my opponent has a breakaway opportunity. He's going to go back door. Cheese! And he gets the goal. We're down to two points for the Benders, two legends here at midway through the first period, guys. Unfortunate to see as he scores with Brad Marchand, assisted by Dennis Potvin. Nice little breakaway poke he had there as he buries it into the back of the net. Unfortunate for the boys, but... The New Jerseys are looking good at least as we are down one nothing here. Down to two benders to Legends points. We've had opportunities here at the start of the game, but unable to cash in so far. So hopefully we can turn this around and get some points, get some goals, I should say, into the back of the net here. As my, po as my opponent back up the ice, he's got a two-on-one opportunity. Nice little block shot. So we work the puck up to Zach Aston Reese, who's off to the races. We got a man back door. Dominic Cahoon, big save by the goalie. As Cahoon is trying to work it around here. Roll, trying to get a slap shot, but Cahoon back on the puck. We find Nick Benino back door. Minute here in left in the first period as my opponent was able to go up by one here as we get a nice little opportunity. Oh, he gets a nice little poke in there. Oh, Russell just misses an opportunity there to tie the game. He cannot believe he missed that opportunity. That is, that is hurtful. There it is, Yamamoto is gonna work this up to Russell. And that is the end of the first period, guys. Opportunity there as he plays it out to Russell and he is unable to bury their back door. Tough sledding as we get into the second period. Looking for the tip opportunity in front, unable to get anything going there as my opponent back off to the races. 
We get a nice hit to sort of separate the man from the puck, and Zach Aston Reese chasing after. Gets a nice big hit, and they're calling charging. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate there. Man, oh man, charging penalty for Zach Aston Reese as we were racing for the puck there. I mean, both, both guys were flying there. Huge hit, but kind of tough to go down here. Down a man. Hopefully we are able to win this faceoff. Ranky gets absolutely plowed there as we are able to kill the penalty off. Oh man, that's a tough goal. He shoots it low, far side, and beats one because we are now down to zero. Benders to Legends points as McDavid finds a way to put that into the back of the net just as the penalty kill expires. I mean, look at this team. Pretty stacked team. He's not a great player, but we're just we're unable to bury any opportunities as Pecorine is playing absolutely amazing. We need a goal like that to sort of change the momentum or try and get some backdoor cheese, but really a really nice little feed to McDavid as he takes a quick little wrister, beating Lundqvist right below the glove in the six hole. A good goalie should be able to stop that, but unfortunately Lundqvist is only an 81 overall, so hopefully we can buzz here with our second line and get some goals back. On in the back of the net, but we are unable to do so as Rask, or not Rask, I should say, um... Pecorine is absolutely fire right now. So we find a backdoor opportunity to Rask. Rask is unable to put that in the back of the net as my opponent's goalie is some straight god status as he scores again here. Trying to get something from the point. Unable to do so as Russell trying to win that puck in the corner. We find a man out in front. It was Strom who's unable to get a hard stick on that puck as we step up on my opponent. On Yamamoto. We have an opportunity here. Two on one. Yamamoto hits the post. I knew he was going to go for that. For denying the backdoor post. So we went to try and step up. As he almost nips Lundqvist. There. Decent opportunity for Yamamoto. As he hits the post. Unfortunate to see. As we are stepping up for the defensive faceoff. Joel Valeno. Our fourth line unfortunately is out. Hopefully we can win this face off. Unable to do so. And he just absolutely goes bar down with Chris Pronger. That was poor uh, line management on my part. Should have not have had our fourth line out there as Joe Valeno gets dusted on the face off by McKinnon. And Chris Pronger just buries an absolute half clappy into the top right hand corner on Lundquist. Down 4 0, guys. And, I mean, at this point, we're just trying to get anything. Trying to get the puck out of the zone. We find Tyler Myers. Finds Cahoon. Finds Zach Aston Reese. Back to Cahoon. We find Zach Aston Reese. But our opponent, Rene, is able to sort of stop the puck again. Just unable to get any chances here. As my opponent had a chance there. O'Connor. Finds Sandell. O'Connor. Back door. O'Connor! Can't find the back of the net as Rask steps up there for the nice hit. As my opponent back off to the races. Nice break up by our defense. And we give it away for a backdoor cheese. And my opponent buries that into the back of the net with five, 11 seconds left in the game. And no oh man, guys. I mean, nothing really we can do there as we've had so many opportunities to bury the puck and... My opponent's goalie has just been absolute fire this game. Very unlucky today, guys, as we're going to end up having points by the end of this, but not the amount of points we want as we have 23 shots on target. Ah, oh, man, that's a that's a dagger, unfortunately, as we win the faceoff there. And that's going to be the end of the game, guys, as we take a 5-0 shellacking. I mean, it wasn't for the lack of chances you could hear me throughout that video speak. I mean, we took so many shots, so many opportunities. Just very unlucky stuff, but on the bright side, guys, we get some we get some points here with total shots, total hits, and our face-offs won. So that should give us some points to get some upgrades in the next video. But we are going to go to the team screen before we exit out of this video, so let's get into it. So here we are, guys, at the end of the video. A tough tough loss there as we get shellacked 5-0 but it seemed a lot closer than it actually was we had so many opportunities 
as my opponent's Renee was absolutely just unstoppable in net. We were unable to get any backdoor cheese. We hit the post. I mean, so many, so many chances. The internet sort of stopped us on a two on zero. Uh, so just really unlucky circumstances. But what do you guys want to see for the next video? I believe we have nine uh, Benders to Legends points after all the stats that we had. So we are going to be able to make at least two upgrades in these silver positions here. So what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see some more forwards um, upgraded? We'd be only to do two of them. Or do you want to see an upgrade at the defensive position, getting rid of this Dennis Rule and uh, Stefan here? Uh, sort of upgrading our D to 4 gold D total. So what do you guys want to see? Leave a comment down below. Um, so I, I am able to sort of get all that together. Um, it is kind of nice not having to pre-record this. Ended up not going to Texas with all the sort of riots and protests going on. So we, we just wanted to stay home and be safe. Um, so let me know down below in the comments section what you want to see. Um, I will be dropping the next episode on Saturday. And before that, on Friday, you guys will get episode 2 of the Dustin McDangle Be A Pro, which is also a lot of fun making. So make sure you guys check that out uh, tomorrow. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, if you did, be sure to drop a like. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you aren't missing out on any content. And that's all, guys. And as always, stay dusty.